fucking fuckers. You were just listening to a little bit of Johnny Lawless, uh, <coughs> badass little band, uh, based out of, uh, great state of Ohio, the, uh, Washington Courthouse area, which is actually the name of a town, randomly enough. I met the lead singer, Terry, um, through, uh, Billy Don Burns, booking him and stuff like that, so, uh, learned who this band was, decided to throw him up. <clears throat> uh, big thanks to Terry for being a part of this and the rest of the band. As you can see, I'm a little bit under the weather today. I feel like I got hit in the face with a fucking goddamn brick. Um, so yeah, I'm off to a great start today. Like, uh, just went into town. Because as always, you know I'm a fucking liar. It's actually Friday my time. That's how it works. We always record in advance now, and, uh, so we are, uh, I had to go into town to get my prescription filled, because like I said, it's not Sunday, pharmacies are usually closed on Sundays, but, um, I went into town to get my prescription filled to get rid of this nasty ass shit I got going on, I'm gonna burn it the fuck out of me, I'm gonna burn it out pretty sure I caught this shit at work, and, uh, yeah, so I feel like dog shit, but anyways, uh, so, 
we got this going on this week. We, uh, the James Honeycutt Dog by Hair Split should be here in a couple days and sent out. Um, also, um, Teen Hearts album art is almost done. So we should be ready to upload that here pretty soon. I need to send the tracks off to get mastered. Um, motherfucker. Shit's rolling around my car. <clears throat> I just took the last of the donation money from uh, last week's Ruckus Razor to uh, the Neighborhood Center and took all the toys there. I'd like to thank everybody once again for coming out supporting it. It's a great cause. Our fourth year doing it. Um, appreciate it. Uh, you know, though, what chaps my ass is when I see a bunch of wealthy, well-off motherfuckers enjoying the festivities that I put on and that bands put on to raise money for Christmas for underprivileged children showing up to my events and not fucking donating. So, I'm kind of just like over chasing motherfuckers around to get them to donate a dollar. But, at the same time, it really chaps my fucking ass. Especially people of like, uh, you know, that hold merit in that town. People of, uh, you know, people that have nice shirts and slacks on walking in and like they own the fucking place and not donating a single dime to help out. So, um, let me fucking explain something to you guys. Shows aren't free in most places. You get them free in Hepner because we allow it. And Bucknums is nice enough to pay the bands out of their till. Most bars in America do not do that. The bands make money off of the door deals. Which means that whatever money the door brings in, the band gets. Usually, if you're a bigger band, it's after a split with the sound guy and the door guy. And the bar doesn't pay for shit. So you're lucky enough to live in a town where the bar pays for it. So you don't have to fucking pay to get in. The only time we ask you to pay is twice a year. And that was Ruckus and the Boonies. And that's dead because nobody wanted to pay for that. And uh, the other side of it is uh, when we're doing charity events. So I'm fucking kind of tired of this shit. I uh, absolutely fucking appreciate everybody who did donate, though. We didn't do half bad. But I know there's a lot of people there with social fucking whatevers that didn't donate, though. And that pisses me off. I'm fucking so over it, dude. So fucking over it. I shouldn't have to chase down some of the most wealthy people in Hebner or well-off people in Hebner to get them to donate a fucking dollar to fucking the neighborhood center. It's fucking stupid. But anyways. Getting back in my zen area. I'm a little sick. I apologize. A little bit fired up, to be quite frank with you, about things and such. And the happenings in my area. If you would like me to be completely honest, just not not happy with things, so, but anyways, um, I'm trying to think of what else we got going on, next week, we're going up to Tacoma, we're doing a, uh, we're doing a fundraiser up there for Mr. Ryan George, um, Ryan George was attacked outside El Corazon by 
some folks that were living in the homeless camp across the street. We went through this whole thing last week. Um, but 100% of the door goes to Ryan. We're doing a raffle as well. I uh, got a lot of good people donating to the raffle. Um, uh, Digital Warfare Records, uh, Evil Thread, Patches, um, Body Scare. Um, a lot of great places. Um, there's a tattoo shop. Feel bad. I don't remember their name off the top of my head. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I am sorry, guys. I am not in a position to do a good gravel road therapy today. My head is fucked. I am full of snot. I'm trying to think of shit that I should talk about. And it's not working well for me. I'm just bitching about things I probably shouldn't be bitching about. I did find my sunglasses today on a plus side, which made me very happy because it's bright out today and I feel like shit. So those two things together, no bueno. I gotta have sunglasses. I did have a nice drive. It's fucking beautiful out today. It's gorgeous out today. You can see snows in the Blue Mountains. Finally, we need some. Need some snow up in this bitch. Uh, hopefully, our folks down in California are getting some rain. Uh, and also, uh, thoughts, thoughts, and uh, my thoughts and prayers, which I don't really pray, but whatever. My thoughts go out to uh, folks in Alaska and the fucking earthquake up there, man. Right now, since it's Friday, we're. <clears throat> They're still under tsunami watch, so we don't know if one's going to hit or not. So by the time you watch this, one might have or might not have, but you know, it always... It's a bad place to be, bad time of year for fucking tsunami, man. It's almost December, man, and they don't have much snow in Anchorage for December, actually. Uh, But you know, global warming's a myth and all that shit, so... Um... What else do we got going on, man? I don't know. I don't even know. I'm just fucking tired. I feel like shit. I'm gonna burn this out with antibiotics. All of our stuff should be online soon. All the, uh... All of the, uh... Any of the most albums that we released should be online. Uh, this week's episode of Double Talking. We'll be with Joshy P. It's running a little late. Uh, my buddy Eric from Sound Harvest Studio run a little behind this week. He's actually got some stuff to do, so um, we're patiently waiting. Eric's been great to us. He's helped us do so much shit, so, and he does it for free. So um, I love that guy. He's been around forever. Recorded my first demo ever with Eric Kent from uh, Sound Harvest Studio, and then we sat and many of hours just smoking pot and listening to those live records from uh, Ruckus in the Boonies 2016 so we got all that shit coming out let's see St. Christopher will be one of our next fucking splits I'm gonna try to get it to be St. Christopher with Tales from Ghost Town hopefully um, let's see. I am just bouncing around. Fucking bouncing around. Um, oh yeah, and I gotta talk to Mr. Honeycutt here pretty quick, too. Um, I'm gonna probably, he wants to call me tonight, but I'm gonna probably try to put it off because I need to burn some of this shit out of me. I'm fucking feeling really sick. Uh, fuck. I don't know, man. Go check out Johnny Lawless's pages. Make sure you like those. Check it out. Any fucking kind of suggestions for bands or their artists of the week, hit me up. Any suggestions for product testing, hit me up. Any ideas for the show? Any, like, uh, Dear Abby type shit you want to write me 
write, write me and tell me or ask me my advice on things or whatever, go for it, man. Uh, but yeah, not a very long one today. I couldn't hold it together for very long, folks. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, I want to show you this real quick, though. I finally got a fucking dummy head for my lucha mask. So that's good. Um, I probably look like a fucking creepo putting it on in the fucking parking lot of the grocery store. People are probably wondering what the fuck I was doing with a mannequin head and a lucha mask. But I don't really give a shit what people think. I fucking have it because I like it. And it brought me good luck. And it always brings me good luck. And it's always going to bring me good luck. So there's that. But anyways, yeah. I'm home now. I feel like shit. I'm going to go drink a little cocktail of orange juice and Sprite. Something that I've drank for a long time that makes me feel better. I'm going to take these antibiotics and probably shit my fucking guts out. And that's that. Thank you all for fucking tuning in. Sorry it wasn't as great as it normally is. Um, but, you know, you can't win all the time. <clears throat> it's my Lucha mask. Check it out. One more time. It's fucking badass. All right. Peace out, motherfuckers. Have a good week. Hope you enjoyed Johnny Lawless. Please go like their pages. Subscribe to mine too, motherfuckers. I'm getting like 30 views a week and I've only got 20 people viewing. Or people subscribed. Like, hit me up. Subscribe. It's the only way this thing works. Alright, later.